This is my current in progress art journal. I always leave the cover until last so then the paint and the textures that I place on it um, don't get scruffed up by the way I treat my journal in well it's in progress. Tabs. So tabs are either inset into the book or they protrude beyond the edges of the book. So inset tabs for example are most common on dictionaries and address books where you have to open the cover and then you see the line of letters down the side and you run your finger down and you're at that particular letter. So inset tabs Here's a series of inset tabs. So these ones are done on the diagonal. So each page is a little bit of each page is visible uh, above the rest. So then each one opens. like so. The traditional inset tabs are down what's called the fore edge of the book. So those ones are here. So down the fore edge. So it's the first one, the second one, it's the third and then the fourth one. So that's your traditional address book dictionary format. So then that set opens. So then the other types of tabs are then those that protrude past the four edge, which is what I've got here. So these. My, the one that I most use most often I guess, although I'm always on the lookout for something to use, is the humble tea bag. So if you drink tea or you have a friend that drinks tea, get them to save you their tea bags. So I first this little guy caught my eye because this is a, an earth page. It's actually a double spread earth page that I've done. And there was a gorgeous little rainforest frog on there. And of course, saving our rainforest, protecting them is a big thing. So he caught my eye and he was just perfect for the page. And he became a tab in his own right. Now these tabs, tags from the tea bags were quite flimsy but I've glued like two on one side and two on the other side so I've gone on on both sides of the page there. This one towards the end it wasn't as flimsy. Oops that's stuck. So I've only got on that one is that tea bag is is just one on either side of the page and I like to use the leave the strings um, on them these ones now yes I went a little bit overboard <laughs> Yes, as I said, I went overboard. So this was the original tea bag. They had quite cute little birds on them. And I'm a, I'm a bird person. So I was particularly taken by these round tea, tea bags. So I had to use those in my journal. There they are again. So I, I, as I say, I've put them through a 
and, and just, just gone overboard with the tags, the tea bag tags and used tabs all the way around the journal. So that was just something that was happening at the time. And so then it's just a simple matter of gluing um, one on either side of your page. And you'll find that's quite strong. If you just glue to here like so, then you're more likely to, to, pull, to pull it off. But having one on either side, that then provides some resistance to, to whichever way it strengthens it. And the other thing that I like to use for tabs is uh, packaging. So this is plastic packaging from, from a packet that was placed over the hook in the shop. And this, because this is an altered book, I've actually taken pages out and uh, glued them together. I've actually glued this plastic tab in between the pages as I was gluing the whole page together. That's how that one's fixed in. That, by the way, is a case from an SD card. This one is another, another lot of packaging. And that was actually a doubled over, over piece. So I've actually stitched that with wire on both sides. And the last one, this one is, I've actually stitched a bead onto the edge of the page. So that becomes a tab in its own right. The wonderful thing about clothing tags is that they're perfectly cut and they come in so many different shapes and sizes. I'm going to put it here to become a tab. And I will probably do some sort of stitching along there just to secure it. Um, I was talking about having the two tea bags because I'm not going because I've already made this page on the other side I'm not going to put another tab a, 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 another one on that page to to make that strong Oh, this is another one. I really like the look of this one. I'm going to use this at one stage, some stage too, because it's actually got two that are very similar. So I would cut there and put one on one page, one on the next. So that, that one comes out a bit to turn that page and then that comes out to turn the next page. So I think that could be a really fun one to use on a series of pages too. Thanks for watching and I hope I've inspired you to continue creating in art journals and altered books and if you'd like to learn some new techniques just click on the links on the side. Thanks for watching.